What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be painting a couple of parts that are going to be going on the car. So I went ahead and uh, prepped this diffuser which was a pain in the ass took me like maybe like a um, couple of hours because all of the like edges and curves as you guys can see but that one's prepped. All I got to do is prep these side skirts which I will show you the, the steps. It's basically the same that I took to prep this one and I'm gonna I'm also gonna be showing you all the products that I used so the thing is I already like went ahead and painted the front lip and the real spoiler that are gonna be going on the car as you guys can see right now it actually came out really good for the price that I paid for it like I did it myself it was more fun and like I didn't have to pay anyone keep in mind that I did get quoted like $800 to paint like um, to get all of those things painted so in the description below, I will leave like how much everything cost me, including all the cans that I used and whatnot, like how much sandpaper I needed to buy. But yeah, basically the process is um, take your 400 grit, sand down the raw polyurethane, and then you can go ahead and apply your, um, your adhesion promoter, and then you go with your primer and your base coat of your choice. And then you finish up with your clear coat. But yeah, that's basically it. And let me show you how I do it. Okay, so the first step is to take your 400 grit sandpaper and just rough up the whole surface. You want it to be, um, so as you guys can see right now, it's kind of glossy. Like if you put it in the light, like it, it's kind of glossy, but how you want it to be is, um, so how you want it to be is you want it to look like this, where it's kind of roughed up and kind of matte looking. So you can't really see any reflection in it. So that way when you apply the adhesion promoter and the primer, like the paint will actually like have something to stick onto instead of this slippery like kind of feel. Two thousand years later. Okay, so now that the whole thing is like scuffed up, like it doesn't shine anymore. This is how it was before. You can see it's very glossy. And this is how it is after you scuff it up. So now that it's like that, I'm just gonna wash it off a bit to take off all the dust that I got from um, sanding. So basically all I have in this is uh, some water and uh, dish soap because uh, just to like make it easier for the dust to come off but if it was a smaller piece i would just take i would just i would recommend just taking uh rubbing alcohol and just like wiping the whole thing down okay so now that the product has finished like uh drying from the rinsing that you guys did like you really notice that there's some dust on it, so just go ahead and take a microfiber towel and just wipe it down. And we're now ready to apply our adhesion for order. So with this thing, you want like maybe two to three coats, like depending on how like thick or how like the consistency is. I'm gonna uh, decide how many coats I want later on. But the thing with that is um. Right after you like apply your last adhesion from the coat, you want to apply the primer within 10 minutes of uh, the, 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 this, the last coat of this drying. So yeah, just keep an eye out for that. Okay, so it's now been five minutes since the last coat of uh, Asian Promoter Guide. Now we're ready to apply our primer. So from now on, like basically you just wait 10 minutes in between coats. But primer, basically I'm going to be applying two to three coats. But for most of my other uh, parts, I applied two coats. So we'll see how this one goes. Okay, so the diffuser looks pretty good right now, so I think I'm only going to put two coats of primer. So I'm going to let it dry for about 20 minutes because I am going to send this down with 600 grit. 
So yeah, once that dry, we'll get to sanding and then we're ready for painting. Okay, so it's been about like 20 minutes since the primer dried. And you guys can see that if I get up close, you guys can see that it's kind of rough, right? But that's okay because we're gonna be going ahead and sanding it down, like the final sand down with 600 grit sandpaper. And then we're just gonna dust it off and then we're gonna lay over our base coat and then clear coat and it should be ready for install. So this is, after you're done setting, your hand should look like this, okay? Okay, no, I'm just kidding, but basically you just feel around, make sure it's like smooth for paint, and then just wipe it down, get rid of the excess dust. Okay, so basically each can is gonna be different because the, like, the brand and the instructions are gonna be different, but mine it says um, wait 20 minutes between each coat, and I'm gonna be applying three coats. Again, first coat very light, and then I start building up, and then we're gonna put uh, clay wood on it, and then that should be it. Okay, so I just applied the second coat, and it's already looking very good, as you guys can see. Very glossy. So now I'm just going to let it dry and apply one last coat. Now for this coat, I did go a bit like heavier than the first coat because like the first coat actually grabbed onto the primer. So you can go heavier as like the higher the more coats, the, the more coats you put on. So third coat, I'm not going to go too heavy though because like it's very very good right now and I don't want to risk running the paint so yeah. Okay guys, so um, piece of advice, don't be like me and like test your cans because um, I just ran out of paint but thank god I finished the third coat. So I'm probably going to have to buy for the side skirts but here's how it is as of now. So we're going to leave that to dry for 20 minutes and then we're going to apply two coats of clear and that should be it. But yeah, make sure you have extra cans of paint so you don't run out like me. So now that the last coat has uh, the base coat has dried, um, you're ready for your, for your clear coat. Now your clear coat is gonna want to run more than any anything else. Like it's gonna want to run more than your paint, your primer, your adhesion promoter. So be very like gentle with that. Like don't apply too much because it is gonna run and it is gonna make it look like a mess. So like apply a decent amount, but don't go like crazy with it. You know? Okay, so I don't know if you guys got this or not, but I ran out of clear coat now. Well, like, what the hell? But, um, yeah, don't be like me. Like, have a can in reserve just in case. But yeah, this is what it looks like after the final coat of clear coat. Very shiny. I mean, I used maybe like four cans for this and it cost me like $8 a can. So, and I got quoted for this uh, specific diffuser only. 210 so yeah I don't know like I'm, I'm ex like I'm extremely happy about the result as you guys can see it looks pretty good but as you guys can see there is some um, orange peel left on it but if you guys want to see how I get rid of that uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and wait for the next video as I will explain how I get rid of all the orange peel and you see that big hole over here yeah, that's a surprise. There's going to be something here. So stay tuned for that. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.